M2 24GB of RAM, 512GB SSD. If you ask, is it capable for daily office or watch a movie? Let me tell you, if it can't even do these, Apple should be sorry for its price. It can do far more than these things as a high performance computer. With a modified shell, there's nothing much to say about it. So, as a consumer, what else can I say about it? This interaction of MacBook Air looks not Air. It has a simpler round corner design, differing from Apple and iPhone. It doesn't have the stunning appearance or the witch design. It even looks thicker than my 13-inch M1 MacBook Pro. It is only when you have flipped it open and felt how high it lifted your hand that you realize MacBook Air is thinner. 1.22 kg of the weight, about 100 gram lighter than the M1 MacBook Pro. Not impressive. Look at this liquid retainer display as it has a narrow screen border at the same volume. The display area is larger than 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. The screen color accuracy is Apple standard. Its brightness has been improved, but it's still too dark under sunlight. Rounded corner on the top, but the right angle on the bottom. And plus this notch, what should I say about it? The notch is there, but no face ID. You still have to use touch ID. That feels really annoying. Liquid retainer display also makes up another highlight. <laughs> Apple wants to make you feel there's nothing but screen the moment you open a laptop. Therefore, they remove the MacBook and the Liquid logo under the screen. They used to curve the logo on the bottom before, but now, can you see it? From here, just here, only here you can see the MacBook Air logo. That's located enough. Now, let's type some texts in WPS Office. Compared with the 13-inch M1 MacBook Pro, the keyboard is more responsive and more clicky. There's less low frequency sound, but more high and middle frequency sound. The touch bar is gone. The slide volume adjuster switch back to keys. But I like it. Cause touch bar is just a fancy useless thing. I have hardly used it in the past few years. Under the keyboard is the gigantic trackpad. Single finger gesture, two fingers, three fingers, and the four fingers gesture, I only love Apple's trackpad. Aside from productivity, you don't need a mouse. It is fluent enough. On the top of the keyboard is the full speaker sound system. Apple put the speakers here this time. Probably because of the sound resonance, MacBook Air actually sounds good. Use it to watch movies, listening to music, or browse the web is enjoyable. The speaker is loud enough, and the sound field feels bigger than before. Till now, you may wondering. Alright, start Final Cut Pro and edit something. I would never know unless I have tried it, it is actually very fast. Whether it is important, editing, previewing, or rendering. Things that used to need a MacBook Pro, the M2 MacBook Air does it really well. And it's even faster than this Pro. <laughs> Pro. 
。哎哎哎，那是我的。宝贝儿，电脑就是好，速度快得不得了。插上我的小硬盘，剪完片子把家还呐。嗯，只有两个接口，开玩笑呢。嗯 ，There's one more massive port than the 13-inch M1 MacBook Pro. At least you don't need to take up the USB-C port for charging. She really had added two episodes on this MacBook Air. Let's see what she says. 我从一九年的 MacBook Pro 换到 Air， 最大的感觉还是很轻薄啊，快乐很多哈。毕竟这个一九年的老大哥确实有点跑不动了。使用 Air， 无论是导入素材、转码，包括剪辑视频和输出视频呢，整体的效率和速度呢都会快上很多。同样一期 4K 二十五帧、十五分钟左右的一期 BBT 节目呢，在我的老大哥 MacBook Pro 上。嗯，输出就要二十五分钟的时间，但是在 Air 上只要九分钟，还是快了很多啊。再有就是，我觉得它的屏幕就比起 Pro 嘛就更小了。呃，在我剪辑节目中呢，很多时候需要多机位剪辑，所以大多时候呢，我就需要浏览多个窗口的素材。在 Air 上，我会觉得它看起来很费劲。它的扬声器嘛，咱就是在正片里面也听到了啊，还是老老实实的戴上耳机剪辑视频吧。四 K 的素材能完成一些初步的剪辑，它还是很 OK 的。<笑>但是进行到最终剪辑的时候，我在大批量处理视频、运行一些特效，然后轨道基本上都在三条以上的时候，这个时候会出现明显的卡顿和发热。嗯，这种重度的使用，其实它还是盖卡害卡。所以我觉得它还是更适合一些轻度或者中度的剪辑工程。Air 还有一个很大的问题就是，我觉得它只有两个 C 口，这相当于直接残废了，这属于是。对于我这种动不动要去外接硬盘，然后拷贝素材来说，这太少了。我一天的工作呢就是做剪辑嘛，在重度使用的情况下，它的续航可以在半天左右，其实已经相当可以了。总之，我觉得用了这台电脑过后呢，其实它没有给我焕然一新的感觉，但是。它确实更快了，然后比较轻薄，续航也很给力，所以我觉得它适合于大部分轻中度用户。但是如果我要换电脑的话，它不是我的选择。OK， 谢谢大家。Besides editing videos, our programmer also used it to do his work. 嗯，我用这台 MacBook Air 干了两件事，一个来写 iOS 程序，然后呢，另外一个就是开发我们的 t e s t w a y 微信小程序。做这两件事，然后这台 MacBook Air， 因为它是二十四 GB 内存加五百一十二 G 储存，看起来活着还是挺可以的。因为这台 Air 它是个被动散热，所以说 CPU 的温度会传送到键盘上面，用久了之后会让我觉得有点不舒服。然后呢，它是用的 M2 芯片，它不是以前的英特尔芯片，用它来装虚拟机还是。挺麻烦一件事儿，即使装了虚拟机，嗯，运行的 Linux 系统，但也是运行基于 ARM 架构的 Linux。目前主流的服务器还是 X86 的，所以说这让我在本机去，嗯，模拟一个后端服务器环境，还是让我有如鲠在喉的感觉。MacBook Air is so portable, making it possible to bring it with you all the time, allowing you to create wherever you are, integrating daily and professional use. Its highlight is that. While being powerful enough, it also has a good battery life. In daily uses, making video call for more than an hour on WeChat, then watching videos, writing scripts, and attending video meeting the second day, after about five hours, there's still 50% battery left. The third day is still watching videos and writing scripts, making video call. After another five hours of use, 10% low battery warning appeared. You can easily use it for two days by a single charge, and you can charge it from zero to fifty percent in half an hour. The charging power can reach seventy-two watts at most, and it maintains about sixty-six watts on most locations. If you order the thirty-five watts two-port charger, the charging speed is sure to be slower. But there isn't just one way for you to charge. There's lots of ways to choose from. MacBook Air is slim, and the aluminum body is fashion. It doesn't have a fan, so it can run silently without vibrations, and it dissipates heat by using its body. It should perform well in spring and fall, 
but in Chongqing where the outdoor temperature is 45 Celsius, even the table indoor is 35 Celsius, I don't want to touch it in summer, because it is like people with fever. The temperature under the hand is around 43 Celsius, the area around Ki Kiu and 1, 2, 3 can even reach 47 Celsius. And the computer is not under high load operation, maybe that's the payoff to chase the fashion. Now we have nearly talked everything about M2 MacBook Air, so whether it is goodbye or goodbye, we have to start from our needs. For me, M2 MacBook Air can definitely satisfy my need. Using it is comfortable and snappy. If you want to use it under heavy production location, it can't handle it. Under long-term high load uses, it will get lucky. To be simple, it depends on if you want to pay 1900s for your daily experience. And the experience also depends on the ecosystem, which you have to pay way more than 1900. We use Apple Watches to unlock our MacBooks as well as our softwares and use Apple Mini as an extended monitor. We can even use another MacBook as a monitor too. We can use iPhone to export photos or scan documents. When we need better listening experience, we'll use a HomePod to play music. Or you can add another MacBook Pro to create a wider sound field. then you will find yourself spending much money for the cooperation between the devices, rather than just a single laptop. If your current laptop plays a good role in your current ecosystem, to achieve similar comfortable using locations, you don't have to change it. If you are currently using Windows, you have to think twice about if you really want to switch to Apple. Apple products are expensive anyway. If you are new to Apple ecosystem and don't need much productivity, if money is not a problem, it is worth buying. If you want to spend less money and do heavier tasks, I suggest you buy a MacBook Pro. 1900s you can afford a MacBook Pro anyway. M2 MacBook Air test V gives 7 as the subjective overall score. Oh right, this score is specifically for this configuration. We haven't used that 256GB SSD version, which the feedback seems not good. So we don't recommend you that one. After all, it is a nearly 1200s product. You definitely don't want any regrets about it. The laptop is always involving. Today, if the price is similar, the performance and the experience are close too. The main difference is about ecosystem and cooperation. I remember the 12-inch MacBook, much smaller and portable. I think that is the real air. But suddenly it is gone. Now the problem is that though the portable ones are powerful enough, but the screen is too small. If the screen is big enough, the volume would be too big. So that the screen should be extendable, extend to every corner of life. Your television, your projector, your glasses. In this case, your next MacBook Air is not a MacBook Air. Test
Broadway. Bonnie try before you buy. <笑>喂，别做梦了，蓝红旗。来，笔记还给你。平时用这把还行，但是我就不太合适。屏幕太小、啊，看着费劲儿。工作太重，还是会卡。我还是去看看 Pro 系列吧。怎么这么多指纹呢？我还是把它擦干净吧